Hi, this is Dan Thompson. Welcome to another three minutes to Money Mastery. And today's question is, should I do a Roth or a traditional IRA? Here we go. Three minutes starting on the clock and go. So there's a couple different things you need to know about a Roth versus a traditional IRA. Now, a traditional IRA can also mean 401k. In a traditional IRA and a 401k, you defer tax. All that means is you're going to put money in. You're not going to pay tax on that money quite yet. You're going to defer that tax. You're going to let it grow and compound and grow and compound in 20, 30 years from now. When you retire, you're going to take that out. And when you take it out, every penny you bring out is taxable. And it's taxed at the then current tax rate. Okay, so you're postponing a tax. You're never avoiding a tax. So the only thing that hasn't occurred is the tax calculation. And that tax calculation is going to happen when you're 59, 60, 70 years old when you finally start taking out that money. A Roth IRA, what it does is you pay the tax now. So right now the contribution limit's 5,500. So you put in $5,500. By the way, it's 6,500. If you're over 50, you get an extra thousand in there. So you put in your 5,500 bucks and you pay tax on that. You pay it at your current tax bracket right now. The difference is now it's gonna grow all the years ahead of you and never be taxed again. When you take that money out for income, for whatever purpose in the future, it's never gonna be taxed. So the difference is what we call a forever tax. You're always gonna be taxed in a 401k IRA or potentially never taxed again in a Roth and there's only one other thing that does this, and that's cash value life insurance. If you pump those things full of cash value, those two are never taxed again if we handle them just right. So what's the, what, what can I do in a Roth? So first of all, you can do just about anything in a Roth. Um, you have to have certain custodians if you want to do real estate and all that kind of stuff. You can't do anything for your benefit. In other words, you can't go buy your house with your Roth. There's some different provisions for that. I won't get into it on this video. Now there's some also some, some uh, income limitations. If you're single and you make more than $135,000, you can't do a Roth. If you're married and you make $199,000 and you file jointly, you can't do a Roth. So those are your limitations. There are no limitations on life insurance. You can make as much money as you want. People throw in millions of dollars into those things because there are Roths on steroids, no limitations, no income qualifications. And I've got about 15 seconds left. So that's it. If you have any questions, shoot us questions. But this is three minutes to money mastery. And I will talk to you on our next video and podcast. Take care.